Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my videos, please press the like button, share the video with your friends, subscribe to my channel and even press the bell button to get the regular updates. In the last video, I have discussed about the repeaters. Okay. In this video, I want to discuss about hub working process of a hub and how many types of hubs are there. So I request everyone to watch the complete video so that you will understand about the hub. Now we will discuss about what is a hub. It is a multi-port repeater. Okay. What is the purpose of a repeater? It will regenerate the signal if the signal strength is lost. Okay. So uh, if you see that a repeater, it consists of only two ports. So if we have two ports, we connect two devices. So if you see the last example also whatever we have discussed in the repeater we have only a source and a destination. So if you have two ports maximum you can connect only two devices. But people have thought if I want to connect more devices what should we do. Then they went for a hub. It is a multi port repeater. Now how many layer OSA layers are there in a repeater? Only one layer is there which is a physical layer. So even hub also consists of physical layer. So if it consists of only physical layer, it does not have any addresses. It means it cannot identify in a packet what is the port number, what is the IP number, what is the MAC number, all these things it cannot able to identify. Okay. So it consists of only physical layer and what it will do. If you see that in the repeater as we have only two nodes are there or two source and destination is there and it consists of only two ports in a repeater. Am I right or wrong? So whatever the packet it is coming, it is just forwarding the packet to the B by regenerating the signal strength which is original strength. Okay. However, when it comes to the hub, we have a multi port. So if we have multi port, let's take that this is my hub. Now let's take that I have four port hub is there. Okay. If I have four ports, I can connect four devices. Let's take that I am connecting device A, device B, device C, device D. Okay. I can call them as a port or I can call them as an interface. Okay. So now four devices are connected. Now let's take that node A want to transfer the data to node D then what it will do it will transfer the data to the hub okay then hub what it will do will it send the packet only to the d or what it will do we will discuss it will not send the packet only to the destination it uses the broadcasting concept what is meant by broadcasting sending the packet to everyone okay so as it cannot able to identify the destination address because it consists of only physical layer if it consists of only physical layer, how it can identify the destination address in the packet? Am I right or wrong? As it cannot able to identify the destination address and it has to forward the packet to the D, then what it will do? It will forward the packet to everyone. So that concept we will call it as a broadcast. What is the problem of broadcast? The network traffic will increase. Because source want to send data only to the destination. However, it is sending in the hub, it is sending to everyone. Because then because of the broadcasting concept, the traffic in the network will increase. And if you see that it will not do any filtering in the packets. Okay, what is meant by filtering? Whatever the packet I am sending, it will not do the filtering here. Okay, should I pass to the packet to the D or should I pass to the C all these things it cannot do am I right when it comes to the bridge or a router we will have a table using the table it will identify whether I have to transfer to whom or should I pass through bridge or not also we it will check so if it is not required to transfer the packet using the bridge or router it will not transfer and it will send to only within the network I will explain about the bridge and router in the coming videos then you will understand the concept of filtering in detail so here 
it will not do any filtering meaning is that whatever the packet it comes it will broadcast it okay so i hope you have understood what is meant by filtering and why the repeater or a hub cannot able to do the filtering of the packet okay so i hope you have understood what is a hub and how many layers it consists of what is the operation it will perform if a packet comes to the hub and whether it will do the filtering or not now let me discuss about types of hubs we have two types of hubs one is active hub and another one is the passive hub now let me discuss what is a active hub and then we will discuss about the passive hub active hub consists of own power supply and can boost relay the signal along the network what is meant by relay because it is a multi port repeater it has to relay the signal and it even boost the signal along the network okay so it will regenerate the signal okay whereas it comes to the passive hub it does not have own power supply it gets the power supply from the active hub so active hub consists of own power supply and it also can relay the signal along the network okay so it is used to extend the maximum distance between the nodes okay whereas coming to the passive hub we will not use it for extending the distance between the nodes so if you ask me sir we have two types of hub which hub we are using we are nowadays we are not using any hub we are going for the switch and the router and also the bridge so we are not using the hub if you want to use the hub because the cost of the hub is very less as compared to the bridge and router all the other network devices so if you have a cost constraint you can purchase the hub and which hub you have to purchase is that you have to purchase the active hub as compared to the passive hub so cost of the hub is less as compared to the cost of other network devices i hope you have understood what is a hub and how many ports it consists of how many layers it will consists of how many types of hubs are there if you still have any doubts related to this video feel free to ask me in the comment section if you have a shy to ask the doubts in the comment section you can send a email to parnika tutorials at the red gmail.com if you want the spelling you can check the name of the channel parnika tutorials don't give any spaces parnika tutorials at the red gmail.com you can give okay then if you send a email i will send a reply within 24 hours thank you for watching my video have a nice day